the most common surprise that people have when they first get here um, is that Budapest is very expensive that in, in terms of the housing market. So people get here and they expect that it's Eastern European and that it's, it's going to be cheap and they've got a great budget and they're going to find a palace and it, it, you know, everything's going to be really, really um, as, as they expected it. But oftentimes that's really not the case because the housing market, especially for expats, is, is not cheap. It's um, more expensive than, than people realize. The biggest shock for me when I first got here was realizing how much I relied on, in the UK, having a supermarket normally in your traveling distance on your way home that you could go, what do I want for dinner? And I'd just go in and I know I'd find something to eat for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, whether it was, you know, I was gonna have a Chinese stir fry or whatever, you know, you'd just go in and you know you'd find all your vegetables and you know you'd find all your ingredients. Here, it's like, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner, let me go in and see what's in the shop. <laughs> customer service. Customer service doesn't exist here, so don't get stroppy before you've even arrived. If you go into the post office exist. and the woman's on the phone, she'll be talking to her friend before she serves you. Mm. Yeah, they won't stop. They won't doing. stop. That's a good point. The post offices are a nightmare. Yeah, they, they are. really are. There is. There seems to be no system if you can't speak Hungarian. You either go to the really modern one, for example, up at Mon Park, where there's a ticketing system, and you have to work out oh, what been there. system you need. Then you press the right button, and you get called or you go into the general one where there are signs and a couple of little pictures with maybe a stamp or a letter. You have to pay your bills by hand. Unless you set up an account here, you pay all your utility bills with cash and you have to trot along to the post office. Mm -hmm. And what I've done is tend to see what other people have got in their hands and join that queue. And yeah. then if you want to buy a stamp, you have to go and queue over there. Nem over there. So yeah, another queue, another 20 envelope. people. Post thing. But then when you post, you just give them, you don't, you don't have to go and put it in a post box, you just pay for it and they take no, it. You won't find a letterbox here. Don't look no. for one. You have to go to the poster. Uh, if you are going to drive, I would advise that you have a small car. <laughs> and this is coming from somebody who has the same kind of car we had in the US and the parking spots are not as big and the parking garages are not as big. So I would um, go with a size, a smaller size over luxury. Um, in terms of baby stuff, actually, that was something that I found to be a bit of a challenge. Um, from right from the start, right from finding maternity clothes through to finding toys and finding the things she needs, there are a couple of big, um, big kind of superstore baby stores where you can get all of those things. Um, but in the UK, you automatically go to a, a number of shops which which don't which don't exist here. So it, it just takes time to work out the equivalents to what you're used to at home. Your electronics, you know, um, if you want to work with converters or if you want to be prepared, you know, a lot of us don't think about the electrical or the con conversion on the electronics and and bring a lot over. Um, in the U.S., we owned a home, and obviously, we spent a lot of time doing those home type things on the weekend, running to Home Depot and getting this or, or taking care of things around the house and the luxury of living in a rented apartment is that you don't have to do those things. And so we were faced with how do we, how do we want to spend our time on the weekends, especially those weekends when we're not traveling. And also the other thing that's fantastic about Budapest, which people don't, I don't, I think if you're in the UK you wouldn't have a clue, but you have this long summer from, from the beginning of May till end of September and you spend the weekend at the pools. Yeah. There are fantastic outdoor pools everywhere with slides and shoots and baby pools and you can get, okay the snacks are fantastic but they're still edible mm -hmm. and um, you can get ice creams and coffees and beers and teas and you can spend every weekend with your kids mm -hmm. with, as a family at the pools. Or Balaton, go to Lake yeah. Balaton too, it's only an hour away. Thank you.